Tom, 42, Visionary Way. You're tuned in to the winner of 3120 Show of the Year, Dispatch Hope, starring your hosts, Silo and Nova. Thanks for tuning in to Dispatch Hope. Here on the show, we take some of our viewers' most hopeless situations and we send out hope to their future memory banks. But this is no ordinary talk show. We're using some of the year's most advanced technology so that viewers can not only hear about hope, but see into their bright and exciting futures. We've been dishing out hope on the air for the last 10 years. And in that time, we've been able to help over 7,000 people become pros in flashing forward. It's always so exciting when we get to help someone believe that God will do good things as they pray, remember, and obey. Pro, during each episode of the show, we have different segments, and one of those is called Five Second Rule. You heard that right. We're flashing back to one of the most popular games from the 2000s. This is a game that anyone can play, and it's super fun. We'll put a category up on the screen, and you'll see how many things in that category you can name in five seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. What goes together better than popcorn and movies? Am I right? <laughs> you know, you're on to something. There are so many exciting things happening around here at Hope Headquarters, but the most exciting is when we get to help someone believe that God will do good things. Hey, Zyla and Nova. My name is Nebula, and I'm hoping to dispatch some hope from the pros. See, the thing is, I've been having some trouble sleeping at night. Every little sound I hear keeps me awake. I'm always worried about what might happen if I even close my eyes for just a second. Most nights I lie awake, hoping that I can just get a little bit of shut-eye before the sun comes up. I really don't know if this is a problem you guys can even help with, but I'm reaching out here because I don't know what else to do. Wow, it sounds like this viewer's hope is running really low. We're gonna need a good bit of P-R-O. In case this is your first time tuning in, I want to make sure you know what we're talking about here. P-R-O is our futuristic formula that has proven to fill us and many others with hope. But before we go pro, we always take the time to flash back to God's word. Even though the technology is very advanced these days, there's one tool that remains timeless, and that's the Bible. A long time ago, they used to read the Bible on this stuff called paper. That made up what our ancestors called books. But these days, we have a way of flashing back in time and watching the Bible come to life in a brand new way. Here on the show, we're testing out the latest patching technology for the very first time. We're not quite sure if this will work, but we're going to see if we can show you what we're seeing. Okay, I'm getting word from our producers that the audience has been patched in. Yes, it's working. Accessing the story of Jonah. Story successfully loaded. Meet Jonah, a man with one big mission from God. God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh because God knew about the evil things that were happening there. He wanted Jonah to tell the people in Nineveh to stop doing wrong things. But Jonah didn't want to go. So instead, he went in the opposite direction. Jonah went to a place called Joppa to get on a boat and sail as far as he possibly could from Nineveh. While he was on board, God sent a huge windstorm that made the sea very rough. The boat was about to break, and everyone on board was very afraid. But Jonah knew that God had sent the storm to get his attention. Jonah told the people on the boat that he was the reason for the storm and that they should throw him overboard. So that's exactly what the people did. When Jonah fell into the sea, God sent a very big fish to swallow him. Jonah was in the stomach of the fish for three days and three nights. While he was in there, Jonah prayed to God. Jonah talked to him about when he was in danger and thanked God for saving him. Jonah said, When my life was almost gone, 
I remembered the Lord. I prayed to you and you heard my prayers. Jonah also promised to do whatever God told him to do from then on. God heard everything Jonah said, and he told the fish to spit Jonah onto dry land. Flash forward. Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh. He told the people what God wanted him to say, and the best thing happened. The people who were doing evil things decided to stop what they were doing and obey God too. When Jonah was thrown off the ship and hanging out in the belly of a fish, he didn't know what was going to happen, and he was losing hope fast. But when Jonah talked to God by praying, God gave him the hope he needed to look ahead and believe there were good things that God wanted to do back on the dry land. Just like Jonah, we may face some scary situations, but when we pray, God hears us and He will give us hope that He will do good things. It never gets old. Watching the Bible come to life like that, flashing back to God's Word helps us to become pros at hope. Now it's time for us to take nebulous situation and run it through our prototype, or as we like to call it, pro. P-R-O stands for Pray, Remember, Obey. Just like Nebula, Jonah was feeling hopeless. He felt like nothing in his life was going right. But let's show Nebula in our audience how Jonah went pro. Computer, access the prototype for hope. As you can see, the formula that Jonah followed was this, pray, remember, obey. When Jonah was scared, he prayed. As Jonah talked to God, he was filled with hope. Jonah knew that God was taking care of him and was going to do good things through this whole situation. Absolutely. And when Jonah was inside the fish's stomach, he remembered how God had just rescued him. He also remembered that God had important things for him to do back on land. And last but definitely not least, Jonah obeyed God, even though it took him a little while to do it. Jonah finally did the right thing, and when Jonah obeyed, he was able to help the people of Nineveh obey God too. Everybody, say this after me. God gives me hope. God gives me hope. As I pray. As I pray. Great job. When we believe that God loves us, is with us, and has good plans for us, we'll have hope no matter what. And that can be true for Nebula if she goes pro like Jonah did. This is my new favorite latest and greatest technology breakthrough called the Future Memory Bank. This is where we can send our memories to the future for the next time we need hope. When we apply the P-R-O formula to what Nebula sent us and upload it to her future memories, we'll get to flash forward and hear what her life could look like 10 years in the future. Computer, access Future Memory Bank. Hey there, Future Nebula here, coming to you from the Future Memory Bank. I made it to where I am today thanks to your P-R-O formula all those years back. I decided instead of lying awake in bed, worrying every night, I would start praying and talking to God instead. I told Him that I was scared and that I needed Him. When I still couldn't sleep, I would read my Bible. I found so many promises in God's Word that I can remember whenever I'm afraid. Promises about how God protects us, loves us, and will never leave us. I even found a verse where God tells us not to worry about anything, but instead pray about everything. So I knew that the way I could obey was to talk to God when I can't sleep instead of worrying. Pretty soon, I was able to go right to sleep with no fear at all. Because you guys taught me that I can pray and ask God for help, remember His promises, and obey His words, things are looking really good here in 3130. Thanks again, and keep helping others go pro. Flashing back to you guys, Future Nebula out. Wow, I can't wait for our viewer to see their life 10 years from now. God is going to do good things in their future, all because of pro. Praying, remembering, and obeying will help them to have hope. God gives us all hope, and when we put any circumstance through the proven PRO formula, we'll find ourselves being sure that God will do good things. Now, another thing we can do to fill ourselves with hope is to remember the promises of God by singing a worship song. When we sing worship songs, we're not just saying words to music. We're actually helping ourselves remember that God's promises are for us every day. In this next song, we're going to be singing all about how God has our future under control, and that gives us hope. Let's sing. In times of trouble I will wait My hope is in you, God I can obey Remember what you say I will pray My hope is in you A future I can see I flash forward and believe I 
am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do I'm happy I'm happy Because of the hope song. It's such a great way to remember that we may not see it yet, but God is working, and that gives us hope. Well, it looks like we're out of time on our show for today. If today's the first time you've tuned in, we always end our show by praying to God. Everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's all talk to God together right now. Dear God, thank you for giving us hope. We are sure that you will do good things for us because you love us. In every situation we face, Help us pray, remember, and obey. We love you so much. Amen. And with that, we're signing off. Thanks for tuning in.